on, don't stop worshiping and praying. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Pray in the Spirit. Scripture says in Exodus chapter 40, verse 34, Moses, he erected the courts round about the tabernacle. And when the work was finished, the glory of the Lord came and it filled the entire temple. It is our endless desire that even as we worship and lift up our voices to the Lord, that he will feel this room. Come on. Just worship him. When we worship, when we praise, we experience his power. But when we worship, we come into his glory. And it's the glory of the Lord that changes. It's the glory of the Lord that transforms. Scripture says as we behold him as a, as a mirror in a glass. We are transformed, we are changed to that same image. So Lord, we ask that you will fill the room. Let every eye see the King this morning. Let every eye behold you. This will not just be another Thanksgiving service, but it will be one where we testify of, of, of an encounter with the Lord. So Lord, fill the room this morning. Oh, lift up your hearts to Him. Lift up your spirit to Him.
It is mega Thanksgiving. I can hear your Thanksgiving this morning. Lift it up to him.
Everybody and give God praise. Just lift up your hand and just worship Him. Thank Him. Thank Him and give Him praise and glory. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you for your goodness and your mercy. We magnify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Church, today is very special. Today, there's a coming together of both the past, the present, and the future. Now, listen, listen carefully, listen carefully. When that coming together comes, Jesus is established. Because what you thought you lost, what you thought you've not found, what you think is coming, Jesus is complete in all of those drive and steering because in him we are complete so today's thanksgiving is a thanksgiving of completeness so some of you will leave this place and you are whole tell somebody say congratulations no get out of your seat and find three four five people and tell them congratulations Tell five, three people, say congratulations. Tell them, say, I see you come back to your wholeness. 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 Church, are you ready? So I, I, like, I like setting a direction before I take it. The reason being, Surely there's an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. So there's, there's so much importance in expectation. So I'm not the type that you're rushing to things. I like to be very clear. Pastor, what are we doing? We're about to engage heaven in worship. So, so when you're coming, you come with your praise and you come with your worship. And we see the courts will open up for you today. Yeah. Lift up your hand. Even as I invite a wonderful brother, Minister Neon. Lift up your hand and give God praise. Good morning, church. Good morning, Pastor. Thank you for having my team, and I am so grateful. I didn't get the menu. I wouldn't have been wearing jacket. Like, <laughs> we're not in the UK. I apologize for my outfit. Just love me like that. Love me like that. Praise God. Can we, just, can we just take out this moment? Pastor already said it. Heaven is about to kiss the earth. And it's a privilege that we are a recipient of heaven's glory in the room. Can we just lift up our hands? I love you, choir. I love you. Can we just lift up our hands and just bless the name of the Lord? And I will now. Doesn't matter what I face, oh, I will not be, I will not be, not be, so I will always, I will always worship you as long as every
sing this song because we hear it all the time. But the best way to enjoy worship is when you have the revelation knowledge of what you are saying. It becomes different. So when I say and I will know it's not because the road is beautiful. It's not because I've not faced challenges. But it's because no matter what I face, God is still God. So he deserves the worship. As long as I As long as I am breathing. As long as I am breathing. All of my cabaria days. Here's my worship. Lift your voice. Love you, <laughs> Hey, Kayana. I need real worshipers in this place to say, Jesus, if not for Jesus, shake her, shake her. I died, I died. I died, yet his blood. The doctor said it was over. Yes, I'm the only one that knows what God has done for me. Out of the ten, I'm the one that came back. Yes, I will. 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 Y
Cause he want the money, lie alone. He want the money, <laughs> he want the money, lie alone. He want the money, yes. He want the money, yes. He want. When I'm left for what I say, Honey, the most in a mad to the kele. Honey, the most in a mad to the kele. Honey, the most in a mad. Nakis yala eh. Honey, the most in a mad to the kele. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. I never see anyone like you. I never see. I never see. Sometimes I don't blame the, the 10 people that got healed where nine forgot about it and one came back. It is because they did not come to Jesus. They came for a miracle and they got it and left. But one came for Jesus, not just a miracle. He said, even if you bless me, I believe in the heart of the man, even if you don't bless me, I will still thank you. And so every other person were in numbers. But the Bible said that one came back. He thought to himself. It takes thinking. Before you find a heart of gratitude, it means the person has thought about it. It takes thinking to bring gratitude. So when we sing songs like, I can never see I want you to think deep. What Jesus did that no man would have done. How you used to go from house to house to share your problem and people laughed at you. How you used to seek for your rent. How you couldn't even pay for dry cleaning for your clothes. Even to buy the soap, you couldn't do it. How sometimes you want to come to church, but when you look at your, your salary, when you look at your bank account, it doesn't even make sense. How sometimes you want to do a lot for God, but you are restricted. But yet God still loves you through it. He didn't stop there. Men thought, oh, we can't have this kind of person in our midst. But God said, come, come, come. You are the one I want to. The one thing about God is he capitalizes on the rejected. Once he sees you are rejected, he's the, he wants to show himself in you. So I don't know people like that in this place that are like me. That want to say, I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see how you change my story? I never see a radekaba iliato kobelia. I never see. I never see. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see. This is your moment. I never see anyone 
There's a song flowing in my heart. It's Mercy by Sumi Sola and, and Moses. Can you, can you remind me of the song? It's a song in my spirit. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, I'm amazed by how you showed me mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, I am amazed by how you showed me mercy. Thank you for your mercy, Lord, I am amazed by how you show me mercy. Thank you My testimony was that of the man that sat at the pool waiting for somebody to, to take him to the water so he can be healed. But nobody came because he didn't have anybody. Many people who had connections brought their connections and they got healed. They got the offer. They got the opportunity. But I didn't have anybody. As a Muslim boy who just became a believer, I didn't have anybody. But then I looked up to heaven and I cried out, Jesus. It didn't just come. It came fully with an overflow blessing. I don't know whose story is that like mine. But I'm amazed by how you showed me mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, I am afraid by how you showed me, by how you showed me mercy. Tina Kemo, thank you for your mercy. Hey, Lord, I am amazed by how you showed me mercy. Thank you for your mercy, this kind God. I never see your kind. No! 
Nothing you cannot do. Nothing you cannot say. Nothing you cannot say. Nothing you cannot do. Even when I fall, you still stay home. Today is Thanksgiving, right? Love around us. <laughs> you know the That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. God is God is God is come. God is come. I want to call somebody in your yard. Somebody you know. Someone that has been a blessing to you. 
also can call us. Can you help me sing it? Are you sure? Don't take over the song. Bro. Don't take over the song. <laughs> See how vibrant. Question. We're just thinking about light. And so when I turned my face to that place, I saw something. Can we see it? What does it say? No, say it again. What does that say? Your light guarantees your flight. Your flight. Ah. I can be on this for two hours. Your light guarantees your flight. It is the it takes the light of God. To make you see clearly. Without light, you are still in darkness. The same God, the Bible said, He brought light out of darkness. He did not, he did not manufacture light from light. It was from your situation. It was from your situation. It was from that problem. It was from that doctor's report. That God brought healing. That God brought breakthrough. It was from poverty that He brought wealth. No, 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 no. God knows how to disgrace the enemy. He brought light out of darkness. Somebody, God brought light out of darkness. So when I sing songs like this, you want to go crazy. You want to go crazy because your situation has just changed. Like 
right now. It's not about being a special song. We are being prophetic right now. I'm about to do something right now. Yes, sir. I don't know where you feel pain right now. I don't know where you need God to touch right now. It might be your sight, it might be your mind, it may be your body, whatever you need God to do right now. I want you to lay your hands on that place. It may be your back, it may be your passport, whatever you need God to do right now. I want you to use something as a means of contact for that thing. And you begin to sing this song to that situation. Yes, yes. The Holy Spirit said is healing people in this place. Some of you just received your answers right now. Now can we go radical? Imolete! Imolete! Rejoice! Imolete! Imolete! When I said rejoice in this place, you are doing like Lekki Church. You never see. There are some kind of blessings that will hit you. Some kind of testimonies that will hit you. You will not be normal again. Which one is, hey, what is that? When you are your own, they just called you, hey, um, sir, we just approved the contract of $100 million. Hey, see, 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 see. I can, this year, probably this year, I've gone to viewing center. Viewing center is where they watch football just once or two once. I've done, I've done that once. And I was shocked how people celebrated their favorite. How they celebrated the goal of Ronaldo. And I saw some of the people that I know in church. I don't know if this guy's voice loud like this. They were shouting and tearing their shirts. I think it was the Champions League final or something like that. They were shouting, even in this Nigeria game, where we scored. Hey! I was in my room, I heard the entire community. Go! Now you are in the presence of God. Someone who has given you something you don't deserve. By human natural instinct, you don't deserve it. Nobody can just walk up to you and say, Sir, I want to dash you 100 million naira. For what? What did you do for me that will give 100 million? But when the Holy Spirit touches them, when or what Oluwa touches them, no, hello, hello, ma. Your face looks so down. Your face looks so amazing. Can I give you 2,000 pounds? Just, to, just because you look amazing. See how she smiles. <laughs> That's what happens when God... See, there are so many miracles that God has done for you that you never knew about, you never saw. There was a day I was driving towards Obalende and a few seconds after I drove past that lane, I saw an accident. I wouldn't have known what God did for me. I wouldn't... See, there are so many things that God has done. You know what it means to sleep? You put yourself to sleep and you woke up. Ah, ah. Oh, no, you, you are taking things for granted. There was a day I slept. I wanted to wake up. I could not wake up. I said, I said Father, I will not die young. In my mind, I, 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 kid, I wanted to wake up. I couldn't wake up. And then when I finally woke up, I knelt and said, God, thank you. Nobody knew what God did for me. 
I don't know why. I couldn't wake up. I was trying to wake up. I could sense in my spirit that I was struggling to come back alive. But I, I wasn't sick, not I just slept. And I couldn't just wake up by myself. But finally, when I woke up, I knew what it means to be alive. I don't know what it is that you are trusting God for or what it is you want to be grateful to God for. He has done it all, but you have not seen it. But you want to be grateful to God for it. We are going to sing this song again. I want you to erupt. The, ah, there's so much. Why, why, why is this place empty? Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hey. It's the song of victory. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. And the sound of rejoicing. Hallelujah. 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 It's the sound of victory. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, you want to lift something in this place? the way when there was no way hallelujah hey. it's the song of praise hallelujah hey. hallelujah oh. now take 30 seconds take 30 seconds to rejoice everybody everybody rejoice There's a blessing apportioned to these three people. There's a blessing apportioned to these three people. They are the only one in this place. Oh. They don't care about anything. They are the only one in this place. Why are you hiding your place? Why are you being too about your place to your father? The one who loves you regardless. One, two, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. I can see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Has come to pass. Has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. One more time. One more time. One more time. See what the Lord. See what the Lord has done. Covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. <laughs> Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. He has never broken any promise. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Say you never leave me. You never leave me. You said that you would forsake me. You live inside me. You live beside me. The sun won't smile me. The sun will smile me. And so no one's gonna hold me. The flood will sweep me. The flood will sweep me. 
Christ is my firm foundation. It's the rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaking. I'll never be more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. And He's never let me down. He's faithful to Are you ready this morning? So why won't He fail now? He won't. He won't. No, 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 no. He won't fail. Are you sure you are ready? Sir, sir, the blessing is heavy. It's like a deluge. I cannot, you can't contain it. Everybody will live with an overflow in this place. Not 10%, not 100%, overflow. I see it clearly. I know they talk with you, I know see. At the vigil, we talked about the revelation behind this song. How many of you are the vigil? Oh, so I, I will not stress myself. <laughs> we talked about the revelation. Every song has a revelation. There's no song that comes from everyone empty. Whoever got the song that now became popular had seen something or heard something or something has been revealed to them. So when you hear this song and you sing this song, don't just sing it like another song. If not, you will just enjoy it like every other song. All you need is one sound though. When the kings want to come, there's a sound that precedes his coming. All you need is one sound. It took a sound for Jericho to fall. It took a sound, just sound for Jericho to fall. Not sword, not, not axe, not whatever they can. A sound and Jericho fell down. Nobody had to die for Jericho to fall. Nobody had to die. It wasn't a battle of die by fire then, no. It was just one sound. Approximately, it takes 12 hours or so by road to Abuja. But suddenly, it takes less than an hour or so by flight to Abuja. Which one is faster? So, a trip that would have taken you two days to Adamawa can take you just one day or less by flight. So, you have been saved a lot of, uh, a, a lot of stress. And as we're singing this song, the Lord said that it's about to compress time. Because the Bible said, the song says, You are no longer walking, you are now flying. So before the next man gets to that place, you're already there in two seconds. God is saying, I'm compressing 10 years to become five days. No, this is for only the people that wants to have it. This, I'm not talking to everybody. He said, I'm compressing 20 years for a few months. What would have cost you generations is happening instantly. I am not just saying, I know what I'm saying. So when you begin to sing this song, put your hands on your head and begin to declare over yourself. Over everything that you see, there's nothing too hard for God. There is nothing, see, nothing. God was not scared when the Bible said there's nothing too hard. He would have omitted it by fear. But he knows that he's God. He does not live in time, but he controls time. God does not need two days to help you. He doesn't live in time. He can do it this time and move on. Now you're going to put your hands on your head as we decree. 
in songs. Something's moving, something's changing. See his glory. This is seven on it. Something's moving, something's changing. See his glory. Just like heaven on it. Sorry. The new man in Christ don't say feels like heaven on it. We don't feel heaven. The Bible says we are seated in heavenly places. We are not feeling it. We know. So something's a moving, something's changing. See his glow. This is heaven on it. Something's moving, something's changing. The potter's house of Lagos is heaven on it. Something's a moving, something's changing. See his glow. This is heaven. And wonder, sons of many waters. We see lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders. Sons of many waters, heaven on earth. Yes, lightning and thunder, miracles, miracles and wonders. Sons of many waters, heaven on earth. Oh, oh, oh. Working for my good is intentional, never fade. I know that all things are working for is intentional, never, 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 Get a neighbor. I have just 10 minutes. Get a neighbor. Now look at your neighbor and say, I don't have to worry because he's working for me. He's working for me. I believe he's working for me. Now look at your neighbor and say, I don't have to worry. Say, I don't have to worry because he's working for me. He's been doing it for a long time. He's working for me. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry because he's working for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's working yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's working Now, for wait, me. wait, wait, wait. I think your neighbor is tired of seeing your face. So you want to get another neighbor and say, no, I've spoken enough to this neighbor. Let me look for you. I want to find only ghost trouble. Now, get a neighbor and say, you do No, 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 no. Now, so we are not selfish. This is the presence of God. So we say, you don't have to worry because he's working for you. He's working for you. I believe he's working. Now, as you are doing this, smile, oh, smile, oh. Say, you don't have to worry because he's working for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's working for He's been doing it for a long time. He's working for you. 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 He's intentional. 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 He's intent
To yourself, say it confidently. It's working for me. 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 It's working for It's never failing. Never failing. I'm standing here. No knowing how we'll get through this test. And holding on to faith, you know best. That nothing can catch you by surprise. It's you got this figured out. And you're watching us now. now. And, and when you know, I say we can win. Ah, hey, listen. You have to say no runs as there And everything we need to supply. You move mountains and you go to war with your power. You perform, it's doing it in this place now, Terry. That's impossible. That's impossible. And I'm standing here. And I'm standing here. Only because you made. Now, can you celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus? Collins, Collins, come. Collins, come. I told you we are going to fight today. Come. This is one of the best gifts we have in the gospel music. No, wait, wait, wait. See, let me be honest with you. God does not run out of supply. If you say you want to give up, he won't take it from you, but he will empower someone else to do what he wants to do. Yeah. However, however it will take, God will always achieve his purpose in a man. This is one of God's best gifts to this house. Yeah. Amen. This man is so gifted. Do you believe he's so gifted? Yeah. So, I remember when I was singing in my church. I never just take it casually. When God just blew me like this. Ah. Neil, when will you be in church? Now? Where are you? I was there, like Father said, don't play with me now, take me, when I get too busy, be feeling firm. <laughs> and that's what God is about to do with this man, that's what God is about to do. I tell people, in gospel music, there's no competition. What we do is collaboration. We come together to, the, the purpose is not neon, the purpose is not colors, the purpose is Jesus. And if we have the same father with the same agenda, I shouldn't be scared to push him. I shouldn't be scared to put him on the spotlight because he's about to make the work easy for the kingdom, right? That's the mindset that we have. That's the mindset that we have. That's the mindset that we have. That that we have. I shouldn't be scared because everybody shouted when he sang and everybody clapped for me when I sang. No, I shouldn't be. 
I shouldn't host a concert and see a gift like this and put him when, they, when there's nobody to come and sing to empty crowd. Then I'll not bring the best and not put them ahead. God has gone past that level. If God gives you a gift to raise and you reject it, you will regret it when you see on the gift rising without your help. And so, I want you to celebrate this man one more time. Now, can you say, you may the... They're already ahead of you. Rush, rush, rush. rush. You may the... Hey! <laughs> Come on, sing, brother. And Alexis, if it was over, you, you made a Come on. Now we're standing here. Only because now. Because you move mountains. Your cars was to burn. Your cars was to burn. You are not the invited guests. Yeah, go back. Can we celebrate Mr. Collins one more time? Okay, before I leave, uh, I don't know, I'm so comfortable in this house. You know, it's you. See, see, see. Welcome, I, I work, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me tell you something. There are some places you will go to, they will box your gift and anointing. If you wonder, did I not pray? Did I, did, these are the songs that the Holy Spirit told me to sing. Now, what was happening? But can we celebrate the man of God? Can we celebrate our man of God? I desire. People did not do this one since, so it's not I want to do it. Not this one. No, he's, he's deserving. Can we celebrate him one more time? No, amen. It's beautiful to celebrate, Papa. But do you? I'm a young man and I desire to get married very soon. I desire nobody should enter my DM. <laughs> Praise God. But you say it's not easy. It, ministry becomes easy when you find a partner that makes the job easy. I was reading about Baba Lola story where the wife would pour oil on his body, would bust his bicycle tires so he doesn't go to do ministry. But even with that condition, it still affected his generation. That's how we need to start celebrating our mother in the house. Because if she had not given him enough room, you will not be coming for counseling. Can we celebrate the first lady of this house? We love you, man. We love you. Thank you. I'm doing this so that they will, they will bless me extra. Come on, somebody <laughs> sign Man, I'm going to sing a song that I just dropped. Um, the Lord is leading me to go R&B lately. I don't know why. I have a voice for R&B, and the Lord is leading me there. I've done 14 years of singing worship, just playing worship, and the Lord is saying, this next phase of your life, I'm taking you towards that direction. So I'm going to sing a song, very simple. I'm going to change the tone, but you have to learn it because it's my song. I sound Travis, you people were singing, you were shouting. The more they do, you were shouting. But, but for some of you that don't know, Eze Bubi is my song. I want to brag. Man. Don't let me have pride. Don't let me have pride. I don't want pride. I don't want pride. I don't want pride. So this song says, I'm your favorite baby. So wait, the reason why I sing baby when I sing is because that's how God calls me. I don't know, it's just a baby. You have not prayed today. The thing they shackle me, say, ah, baby. I'm not joking. Since I left Islam to Christianity, he has been calling me baby. Even when I'm complaining, baby, calm down. Ah, baby. Oh my God, is romantic. Oh. So I started writing, okay, say you are calling me baby. Okay, let's tell the word. 
Cause I'm your favorite baby And the one you've been loving Nobody can separate me from you Everything I have is coming from you I'm your favorite baby And that's why you died I'm the one you've been loving Nobody can separate me from Everything I have is coming from I'm your favorite baby And that's why you died for me Wait, before I go, I have less than Oh, sir, my time is up, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I have to do this because I need to blow Please go yeah, we blow in this country. They lie. Don't be deceived. We blow. Ah. Do you know the amount of popularity that these other guys have? They sell arenas. We are not yet there. Ah. I blow in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Let's go forward. So you people who bring out your phone, help me. Help my market. Bring out your phone. Capture me and post it. My Andrew is at me on a day to help me. Comedy is my one side thing. So don't worry. Help me. Help me. Tag it. If I bring out your touch light, bring out your phone light, let's sing it together. I, I know what I'm doing. The world will just say, what is happening in the Potter's house? Oh my God, oh my God. Can we bring out our light? Bring out your phone light. You can turn on your camera, whatever the case may be. And you can just dance around. Capture yourself doing it. Capture yourself singing it. Now can we go together say, I'm your favorite baby. And the one you've been I'm your favorite baby And that's why And that's why you died oh, See you know See you know I'm always on your mind This is the last time we're singing Every move I make you go be oh, One more time with your life I'm your favorite baby And the one you've been loving Nobody can separate me from you Everything I have is coming on When you hear, I'm your favorite baby, all, all the KJV people here, I know you are struggling with it. <laughs> all the KJV members. <laughs> all the message version. Message version, are we here? <laughs> so when some of you hear, I'm your baby, there. <laughs> and that's the reason why. Oh, let me let me stay within my element before I before I switch. <laughs> that's the reason why you know in those days, about 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when you want to propose to a lady, you you have to go KJV to be serious. You have to go KJV. If you don't go KJV, you, you, they won't hear you well. I'm telling you. So you need to move, even funny enough, funny enough, the brothers of those days, uh, we were the troublers of Israel in those days. Because the brothers of those days, because we got saved from the club. So, so you see, you get saved and you come into Christ. And you are trying to struggle out to say, toss, 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 baby, toss, baby. And you don't know, it can't work, it can't work. So you see, all those brothers, they always go like, hey, toss, hear the Lord, toss, hear the Lord. And some of us struggled with it. 
And that's the reason why sometimes when you want to prophesy, for people that have the gift of prophecy, in those days, the Lord will be giving them simple, you know, tell my people, all right, that I will come to them and I will renew them and refresh them. But you see, the people are so stiff, they won't hear it that way. If you say it that way, it's too, it's too light. So you need to put a bit of drama to it. Even though there was one sister in those days, if the sister wants to prophesy, at one point, I have to, I always know when she's about to prophesy. Because she always start the engine. Say, this woman has come again now. I say, madam, talk now. She will do that for a lot of minutes. Then after, I say, toss here the Lord. He will be with you. I say, I already know it's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> well, he will be with you. I know. He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. He will be with you. You mean all these, all these 30 minutes we're waiting? Zuba, Baba, Jaba. All of us will be waiting. The Lord is about to speak. Ah, yeah. All of us are waiting. You know how you have that expectation? Then I say, He will be with you. But you know, you need to be spiritual. You just receive it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's too many religious people everywhere. I hate religion with passion. I hate religion with passion. And that's why I always tell people, listen, hear how God speaks to you. There's a language God has with you. So if he calls you baby, take it. If he calls you honey, take it. And if he calls you my guy, take it. You might just be walking on the road, Holy Spirit say, my God. <laughs> so don't just say, ah, Holy Spirit, ah. Ekpo. <laughs> you just say, ah, Holy Spirit, what's up? Yo, listen, 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 listen. That's why I just thank God for liberty. You know, you were talking about when you go to Minnesota in some place that you feel caged. I went to Minnesota in one church like that. I, let me don't call the name. And, and because I know how their heart will operate, I wore jeans to the meeting. I like troubling places. When the minister saw me, he said, uh, you know how you say, are you the one we're expecting? <laughs> yes, with jeans and sneakers. I just said, yeah, well, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I came in, I came in. And the, the man was he suspecting this man that we're about to give Mike to. This man. With our young people, we're not sure. But when I took the mic, that's when they knew that all their young people were carrying something in their spirit, but the pastor didn't know. When I stared the water, he saw some of the young guys jumping. Ah! The pastor was wondering, man, you mean this, my young guys carry this? Yes, sir. But you bottled them all these years. I just came to ignite them. Church, when you are before your father, that's why you should be a child. Jesus said, let them come, for such is the kingdom of God. When they come as children, we don't pose before our father. We just, that's where you play. That's where you open up yourself. Ooh. I'm your favorite baby. <laughs> Look at the person by your side and say, do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you understand it? No, no. Look at your person by your side. I said, do you, Pastor, I went to do you understand it? <laughs> okay. For Pastor, I went to you're my favorite mama. So that one works. See, listen. Listen, church. Listen, church. No matter where you are, God meets you there, sir. Old school, new school, key school, fine school, dub school. Ask your neighbor, which school are you? <laughs> Miss K, okay, which school are you? <laughs> oh, they can't use favorite, right, baby. No, ask your neighbor, which school are you? No, let the person answer, old school, new school. Someone say out of school. Drop out. I'm not, I'm not in school, Pastor. Oh, I'm so glad to be in the house. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. If you know you have the rejoicing of the Lord, shout hallelujah.
Listen, when you come into this month called the month of March, you've just conquered January. You've just taken care of February. Now, like we did in the VG, you call March to come forward. March, come forward. I'm about to take a journey over you. And I will have victory over you. Shout hallelujah. Sit down. At the vigil, few things happened. And I've been basking in that presence. It was so heavy. That to get out of it has been so, so, it was so heavy. Now I'm calling nations to come forward. How many of you called nations to come forward? I called Lagos State to hear the word of the Lord. I called Lagos State. How many of you called Delta State? How many of you called Delta State on Friday? Did you call Delta State on Friday? How many of you called the senators? I called the senators to come forward. <laughs> how, many of you, how many of you are ready to call somebody to come forward? You, su you summon the governor. The, oh, pastor, what I do? I summon the governor of California. Come forward. Le Pacapra. I've been hearing that there are too many things happening there. I, I, I summon, oh, come on, prime minister, come forward. Oh, Indian prime minister, come forward. Listen, listen, listen. The Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And the Lord turned it. It turns it like the river that fluent. I command you, come forward. He has made us kings and priests. To this Thanksgiving is a coronation of your flight. Listen, listen. Whether you like it or not. It does. Some people have taken off already. To be sincere, some people have taken off. We're just trying to say, hey, bros, where are you? The guy say, oh, Pastor, I'm over the Atlantic right now. <laughs> Meet me up. For some of you, we have to take a PJ to find you right now. We have to take a PJ to find you. Commercial flight cannot fit you. We have to find a PJ to get you because your speed, your speed is like Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Please put it up for me. As we make that declaration again today, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amos 913. Thank you. Amos 811 stayed in my spirit all night because of what I'm going to say today. Called the firming of the word. So I'm going to say something. All right. Look at the person by your side. Introduce yourself to the person. Say, let me introduce myself again to you. You might not know the person sitting beside you. It's a privilege that you are sitting beside me today. Because I'm about to make a pronouncement. Come nearer, come nearer. Are you ready? Stand up on your feet and look at that person. Stand up on your feet. Now, you're going to make a pronouncement. This pronouncement, you're going to make this pronouncement to the person. And I want you to speak by faith to this person. Are we ready? Okay. Please, tell the person, please, I need you to speak, speak louder today. I know you're a very quiet person, but please, help my, help my faith, speak louder today. All right. I know you're a gentle person, but speak louder today, please, help me, help me. All right. Are you ready? One, two, go. Let's speak to the person. Yes, indeed. Does it mean? So far. Your head will swim to fast on the heels of the order. You won't be able to keep up, sir. Everything will be happening at once. Everywhere you look, blessings, blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and the hills. Lift up your voice and give God praise. 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 Now go around and congratulate somebody and say, Congratulations. Go around and congratulate someone. Say congratulations.
you stay with us for? Okay, beautiful. Because I also want to say, Church, I'm excited about the farming. I'm excited about pandemics. For every farming, nations are raised. For every pandemic, armies arise. So anytime you see a pandemic or a famine, rejoice. The excitement of an ego is the coming of a storm. Anytime you see a storm, watch around, there's an ego hanging somewhere. Anytime you see a storm, there's a joy in an ego because it's positioned on the mountain, watching out, getting excited that a storm is staring. All beds go into hiding. All beds go into hiding. All beds go into hiding, except the ego. All beds. The moment there's a storm, all beds go into hiding. Only the ego is excited and stay by the side of the mountain, waiting to ride. I'm excited about the famine upon this land, the economic hardship. Because anytime there's a, there's a famine on an economic hardship, there's a divine rearrangement going on also. Church, church, there's something you must understand. You may not be winning before, but when there's a pandemic, there's a rearrangement. All of a sudden, the last shall be the first. Church, pre-COVID, there were some very key people who were winners in the IT telecoms. Post-COVID, there was a rearrangement. Then the, the minor become the major. For some of you that are not aware, all of you just started using it during COVID. Pre-COVID, Zoom was running just about 3 million engagements because IT telecoms organizations like Cisco WebEx were running as major in that market. But when COVID came, the last became the first. Then all of a sudden, Zoom that all of you used to pray, all of you came to 350 million under the year review because COVID came. Possibly if COVID had not showed up, Zoom would have just been a little organization struggling. But when COVID showed up, Zoom showed up. Oh, tell someone, say you need a COVID, man. Well, oh, that's a revelation there. If you can see, you see. If you can see what I just said, you see. Oh, did you hear what I said? Church, I thank God for COVID during those days. Because COVID also repositioned some of us, like my organization. Because when COVID came, what happened was that a lot of people, because I do a lot of government institutions, a lot of government institutions that always call us to come over for meetings and travel and come to Abuja, be in Ogun State. All of a sudden, all those that don't like to talk over the phone, they said we must see you physically. We must see you physically. All of a sudden, everybody came into Zoom. DG, Zoom. Minister, Zoom. Ah, so all of you can do Zoom meeting. Ah, we never knew that everybody can walk in Zoom. So we were no more traveling. Expenses was down. Revenue was up. Church, you are not hearing what I'm saying. Sometimes you require pandemic for rearrangement. So sometimes when you're low, don't get yourself worried. God will soon send another firm in, then he will rearrange again. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Joseph will become the prime minister. <laughs> because of firming, Joseph became the top. Oh, because of firming, some people will become landlords. No, you didn't hear what I said there. You didn't hear what I said there. Okay, let me explain something to all of you. There's war going on in Ukraine right, right now. Talk to me, Joe. I said there's war going on in Ukraine. They are bombing everywhere. Is that all right? No, every house, is, every estate, everything is scattered. Now imagine after five, ten years, Ukraine is now settled. Everybody's going back. The first to get there, <laughs> you'll be picking estate without buying. Please, can I, can I have that? 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 Because something happened. Famine has always existed from generation to generation, never a strange occurrence. 
Famine of food, water, peace, power. It will not stop. Famine will continue. Most times, famine is created as a technology for development and new mandates to emerge. Famine can be initiated by several indices, we all know. Consequence of sin. When God placed judgment upon the land, famine will arise. Second Samuel chapter 21, verse 1. Now there was a famine in the days of the days of David, of three years, year after year. And David inquired of the Lord, why this famine? And the Lord answered, it is because of Saul and his bloody testy house because he killed the Gibeonites. Femi can arise out of a judgment. As I said before, Femi can arise out of a strategic and a divine arrangement. Second Kings chapter 7 verse 3. He said, now there was four leprous men at the entrance of the gate and they said to one another, why are we sitting here until we die? If we say we will enter the city. The famine in the city, <laughs> which I died there. If we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, come. Let us surrender to the army of Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall only die. <laughs> and they rose at what light to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrians' camp, to their surprise, there was no one there. Church, what you are afraid of is gone. Oh, I thought you were here. I thought I would hear better here, man. I said, what you are afraid of is gone. He said, for the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses and the noise of a great army. So they said one to another, look, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Egyptites and the kings of the Egyptians to attack us. A preacher put it this way. He said, when the leprous men were walking, they were handicapped. They were disabled. They were about to rescue the able. Have you ever seen the disabled giving direction to the able? I mean, you know it happens in your country. <laughs> Pastor, don't go there. Let me just touch it a bit. You know when you go to your traffic light position, you will see a disabled man and he's the one telling us this way. And we that are able will just be driving and say that way. He said that way. <laughs> we have seen people that look mad, that look mad. Pastor, you see that look mad. They're in the center there. And all of us that are aware, we don't be driving. <laughs> in this country, <laughs> so farming can come as a result of a judgment. Farming can come as a result of what? Strategic and what? Divine rearrangement. Farming can come as a proof of commitments and covenant. Genesis chapter 26, 1 to 6. Now there was a farming in the land beside the previous famine in Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of Philistine in Gera, in Gera. And the Lord appeared to Isaac and said, do not go down to Egypt. Don't jack what I tell someone, say, don't jack what that's a word for somebody here. Eh? Somebody, they didn't say it loud. No. The Lord appeared unto Isaac, don't go down to Egypt, live in this land where I tell you, stay in the land for a while. That's a word for somebody. Look at somebody and say, stay That brother is not talking. Look at that brother again. Pastor is talking to you. You're not looking at us. Stay in the land for a while. I think there's a while there. Stay in the land for a while. You know what the Bible said? He said, if you stay in the land for a while, I will be with you and I will bless you. Oh, there's some people here. I want to make a pronouncement to you. In this same land, this year, your blessing will be so strong. Yeah. Funny enough, funny enough, CBN has opened the door. Now they can pay you in dollars in salary. Yeah. No, listen, you don't even need to chase for you to go there. Oh, can you imagine you earning dollars here, spending it here? Yeah. Have you ever seen that before? Yeah. Now, if you spend dollars there, it will still be expensive for you because you earn it and pay their bills. But if you earn dollars here and spend it here, okay, you are chief. Yeah. You are chief, sir. Now they've given the permission. They cannot be paying you salary in dollars. Oh, come on. You can get your job from here, sir. You don't need to get there to get your job. Say you must find me. Listen, a city set upon the hill cannot be hidden. Yes, now, if you are a city, they will find you. Yes, Listen, the Bible says you don't light a candle upon the bush. Yes. Why the light must be on the top? Yes. Because you can't hide light. Yes, you were saying something, it hit me. 
Listen, darkness itself requires light to be dark. No, no, no. You need to take time. You need to take time to hear what I just said. It won't make sense to you. It may take you five minutes to listen. Darkness requires light to be dark. Light needs to live. Then dark can come. There's no darkness, really. It's only absence of light. So you require me. You require me even to practice your evil devices. Listen, you don't understand the power of light. That's why you are struggling. If you catch light, the day, that's why scripture said, the entrance of his word, give it light. What he's telling you is that the moment light comes in, Bible said, if your eyes be single, your whole body will be full of light. Now, if light comes in, all you need is illumination. That's why the best prayer in the scripture in the New Testament is found in Ephesians chapter 1. If you read from verse 17, it said, Lord, let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened. All you need to have is enlightenment, sir. Because if you can see, you can saw. Yeah. It is sight that guarantees flying. Yeah. Oh, God, you cannot. Oh, my God. You can't fly without sight, sir. The only reason why a lot of us are struggling is because we can't see well. Yeah. What are you telling me? Somebody said there's no mountain anywhere. He said your ignorance is the mountain. Because if you are not seeing, everywhere is a wall. Do you know that a blind man, if he cannot see, everywhere is a wall? Come, let me show you something, sir. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Come, sir. Come, sir. Stand here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Try and walk. Try and walk. Are you not feeling as if there's a wall? Are you not feeling as if there's a wall? Why? Because your blindness is a wall by itself. Even though there's no mountain anywhere, there's no obstruction anywhere, but you are blind, sir. Your blindness creates a wall. There's no mountain anywhere, sir. Your ignorance is a mountain. That's what you say. What are that mountain before the Rubabel? You shall become plain. Oh, come on, you are not here. Tell somebody your mountain, your mountain, your mountain is your ignorance. Somebody say, get light. So, number one, I said, firm and come by how? By judgment. Number two, it comes by how? By what? Huh? Strategic rearrangement. The firm it comes by how? By proof of your commitment. Then finally, firming can also come by demonic attacks. Because sometimes you just discover that there's an attack that hits, that hits and shows that firming has come. In Kings, I think it's the second Kings chapter 24. I'm sure I get the scripture right now. He said, it that happened after this that Ben Hadad, king of Syria, all his army went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And indeed, they besieged it until a donkey's head was sold for 80 shekels of silver and one fourth of a cup of dope droppings for five shekels of silver. Church, he got to a point in Israel. That one dollar was costing 10,000 naira. That every time you want to go and buy bread, you are buying bread with 20,000 naira for one loaf of bread. He was so bad in Israel that there was no more money could not do anything. So famine is not strange in our kingdom. Famine does not move us in our kingdom. When famine is coming, we are excited. We're like an eagle. We're excited about the storm when it shows up. Apostle, are you sure? Are you not seeing that the petrol has gone up? You don't understand what I'm saying. When you see with the eyes of God, you don't see things happening around you. You see things happening within you. Because your power is not around, it's within. Greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in the world. The moment you can catch who is inside, don't worry about who is outside. One of your issues is that you keep worrying who is around you. You keep looking at the devil. You keep studying the devil. Some of you have PhD in demonic theology. Some people can describe to us how devils fly. Even in those days, in those days when we used to do the deliverance ministry, 
we so delivered, we so casted that devil to an extent that anytime you enter into a boss, the moment we're moving around like this, you just see the brothers in those days, they're different, Mr. <coughs> Man, what's going on? I spent something here. <laughs> That's how they operate. Okay, what's going on? Say, I smell, they're here, they're here, they're here. They are. <laughs> Where are they? The moment, and I used to say it, if you are, if you are a fair complexion person, you know you are, you are in danger when you come to our service. If you are fair complexion, you are in danger when you come to our deliverance service in those days. Because you are the first one we must call out. We, must, we, don't, call, we don't call that complexion people. Fair complexion. Hey, bring that woman, bring that woman. Yeah, that woman, that woman. And, and, you, and you women too. I don't understand you women. I don't understand my lovely women. The moment they call you out like this, it's as if something spirit just came upon you. They will not have taught the woman. The woman. <laughs> Madam, hold on. We have not even prayed. We have not said anything yet. Madam, hold on. Hold on. Before any spotting. <laughs> hold on. Madam, we have not prayed yet. Then those charlatans enjoy it. They enjoy it. Because she all knows your movement is a proof of their ministry. <laughs> because there is no how deep ones will live by two shake. Uh. <laughs> so if if a shaking has not happened, that one has not left him. Even sometimes I remember in those days when we bind and it didn't move. <clears throat> we just said it, it, it's still there. It's still there. Then they start questioning. How many of you are here? <laughs> because Jesus did it only once. But people say by two or three witnesses, the truth is established. Jesus only did it once. By asking, he said, How many of you are here? We are legion. We now made it a doctrine. How many of you are here? That's the word we always start with. How many of you are here? Then they will not be fooling us. We are three. We are three. We are four. You will not be hearing language of demons. Ah, leave me. Oh. Leave me. Oh. <laughs> you will not tell them, You must go. You must. I've seen people before, the general minister, they will not fold their shirt. You won't. Our weapons of war are not canal, but this one, <laughs> this one does not go. <laughs> Except by boxing. <laughs> Praise God. Man, ignorance is bad. He said, my people perish. His own people. Pastor, Lord, your people, yes. My own people, yes. The one I gave birth to, yes. They perish. How can your people perish? They perish, sir. For what? For lack of knowledge. You will all allow charlatans to come in because we lack. We lack Knowledge. So Femin has been here for long. And Femin will still be here because Femin is one of the tools of the kingdom to reposition and put his people on top. Church, you don't understand how God operates. If God wants to bring Esther, he's taking away Vashti. And to enthrone Vashti, we must create something that will enter to enthrone Esther, we must create something that will enter Vashti's head. Because can you imagine on that day when Esther was now ready that they told Vashti to come and dance and Vashti, he entered the head that day that she would not come before the greatest king in the world. The king that only calls you once and you appear many times. It was God that caused madness to enter into Vashti's head because it's a time of replacement had come. So you see some reactions some people will do sometimes. Don't get yourself worried. It's because you have been in the waiting. You are about to come up. Ooh. Tell somebody I'm about to come up. Tell somebody I've been rehearsing. And that's why I keep telling you people, prepare for where you are going to. Stop holding to where you are. Prepare yourself as a CEO. Talk like one. You don't need to say it in front of us. You can face your mirror sometimes. I get what I'm saying. But talk like one. Dress like one. Sometimes you don't have money in your pocket, but your tie looks good. Come out like one. In those days, when we didn't have job, when we came out of school, we used to dress up to go out in the day. Where are you going to work? Then when we go, when we go, Carol, we'll come back as everybody's coming back by five. <laughs> We were practicing where we are going to, not where we are going through. 
keep practicing where you're going to. If you're going to be a lovely wife, practice it. Practice it. Make sure you're cooking well before your father or your friends or what. Practice it. If they say, ah, this cooking, you're cooking. Don't worry yourself. You're not the one I'm saying. All this by cooking is all you. I'm preparing myself for the man that is coming. Practice your words. Practice your speech. Put yourself together. God is always interested in his children preparing themselves because the time will come. A time will come where they will require of you. You can't be at that time be thinking of preparing. Joseph was preparing inside the prison because the time was coming. So when they said, hey, we are looking for an interpreter. I'm here. <laughs> I've been waiting all this while. But you're in the prison. Don't worry about the prison. The prison is a temporary state. Even funny enough, call your prison your preparation time. Because when you come out, your lifting will be so high. They won't put you as a manager. You have to be the prime minister. <laughs> oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I just sense a lifting happening to somebody here. Yeah. Now, there's somebody here. Listen, you don't have an international passport. Get one. You're about to take off. Oh, somebody just heard me there. I said, you're about to take off. Yeah. Even some of you are saying, ah, ah, pastor, which international passport? Jero, where, where is Jero going to? We are all here in this circle. Oh, listen, listen to me. It's not about where you are. It's about what God is saying to you. And your time and your turn has come. In the name of Jesus. Let me, let me, let me rush this and, and go into a lot of praise. Fermin has always been there. In Genesis chapter 41, verse 56, the famine was all over the earth during the time of Joseph in Egypt. And the famine was so severe. In Ruth chapter 1, verse 1, now it came to pass in those days when the judges ruled that there was famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab. He and his wife, famine has always been there. In 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 1, now there was a famine in the days of David for three years, year after year, year after year, there was firming. So what is happening to us is not strange. So stop behaving as if, ah, our life has fallen apart because fuel is going up, the price of fuel. Because a stranger is going up. Come on. In it, we are strong. Come on, encourage your brother by your side. Just press the hand if you can, or your sister. Tell the person, be strong. Uh, look at the person again. Say, be strong. Be strong. Even by nature, Nigerians, we are strong, sir. Oh, you don't hear what I say. I said, by nature, Nigerians, we are strong, sir. Is it not Nigerians that go to some places in Canada, minus 45? <laughs> Nobody is coming out to work. Is a Nigerian that you... <laughs> he said, what are you going to? He said, we must survive. <laughs> minus 40? Ah, ah, bros. How did you get here, sir? He said, don't worry, I found myself here. Those years, about 10 or 15 years ago, I found myself, I had a conference in Budapest, Hungary. They just came out of communi uh, uh, communism. And I, and, I, and I got there. I was, they told me if I get to the airport, I should be very careful so that I make sure I get a taxi from the hotel just to, to show you how the place was. Because when I got to the airport, I was the only black man. I could see myself as the only black man in the whole airport. You know how you see yourself as the only black man? Do you, you, you understand? It means you are working, working. You're just, you're just, ah, there are no black people here about 10, 15 years ago. But guess what? Two nights later, I was trying to look for where McDonald's is. I just said, ah, I need, let's find McDonald's. By the time I got to McDonald's, I said, go this way, go this way. By the time I got to McDonald's, I just saw some two guys. <laughs> they were just hanging somewhere. So they were trying to catch my eyes. Ah, ah. <laughs> they are in Budapest. Man. Oh, tell somebody you are great. Oh, Nigeria is great. Everybody say, Nigeria is, Nigeria is great. This country, this country, listen, in this country, we will be blessed. In this country, we will yield. In this country, I will eat of this land. Hey, 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 even if I go, I'm coming back. I will eat of this land. Hey, hey, even if I go, I'm not going. I'm eating of this land. <laughs> oh, look at somebody, I will eat of this land. Oh boy, why would I eat of this land? My father died here. My father sold here. My grandfather sold here. My great grandfather. Ah, but now, come on, man. How can all of them have sold? I will not eat of this land. Ah, come on, leave it alone. I'm eating of this land, sir. 
Wherever the prosperity is, it will find us. The person that knows us will soon be in the palace. <laughs> Mordecai, yes, calm down. Mordecai, yes, calm down. Esther is about to enter the palace. You will be one relationship to Tinumbu very soon. You know what is even paining me? You know what is paining me? Some people are here in Nigeria. They are calling people from the UK to come and get a job in Nigeria. And you, you are here. That means job can find you from anywhere. <laughs> hey, I see directors around me. I see the mighty men around me. The mighty men of David around me. I see great men around me. I see mighty teenagers around me here. I see mighty husbands around me here. Listen, a company is about to bust open. The company, they will say you are too young, but that company will carry billions of deals. In the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody here. I say this famine will not stop you. You will laugh in famine. Oh, can I get a better amen? I say you will laugh in famine. So it has always been there. Famine has always been there. But look at the promise of God in Job chapter 5, verse 20. He said, In famine, he shall redeem you from death and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue and you shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes. You shall laugh at destruction and famine and you shall not be afraid of the beast of the earth for you shall have a covenant with the stones of the field. Higher and the earth and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. This earth will yield to you. Oh, oh, you are not getting. I said, This earth will yield to you. When you sow upon this earth, this earth will yield to you. Enough that you sow and it went to the wind. You will sow and it will come back. And to not come back the same, you will come back loaded. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Tola, this man spoke to you. He said, your bad dog looking at your face, he said, that, oh, I feel like giving you 2,000 pounds. I love the way he used it. He, I, I love the way he used it because he has taken him away, he, away himself from, from looking at your Naira state. We don't look at your Naira state to bless you anymore. We look at what needs to exist. We're not spending currency, we're spending faith. Now, if you spend faith, every currency will align with faith. Whether it is dollars, whether it is pounds, if you need to pay me, pay me. But you pay me from the faith dimension. If I demand by faith, if it's dollar that needs to come, dollar will come. If I demand by faith, if it is great British pound that needs to come, it will come. If I demand by faith, if it is, if it is, if it was that Chinese one, <laughs> if it is yen that needs to come, yen will come. You know why? Because they all have names. And at the name of Jesus, every other name will submit themselves. Dollar has a name. Great British Pass has a name. Yen has a name. They submit to the name of Jesus. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. What were they spending in the time of Jesus Christ? Was it dollars? What were they spending? They were spending sugar. They were spending silver. They were doing all kinds. That means, listen, money can change. Names can change. But Jesus remained the same. Woo! I said money can change. Names can change. But Jesus remained the same. What that tells you is that no money would determine your destiny. I said no currency would determine your destiny. If you are going to do masters in UK, calm down your spirit. Have you not heard it before? That they can pay your full scholarship without thinking. They will not only pay your full scholarship, they will tell you all your family to come. Even I'm even beginning to hear now that the policy that they create, somebody, somebody created it. Another person can change it. Is it not policy? Policies are made by men. Decrees are made by God. When God decrees a thing, it's established. No matter the policies that they create, when your time comes, they will shift it. I said no matter. Listen, do you know there was a policy in the days of Esther? that the king will have to raise his scepter before anybody can come near him. It was a policy because if you miss it, you will die. But in the time of Esther, the Bible said when Aton came, in the time of Esther, when Esther showed up, the, the king looked up, it was Esther. It has to be Esther. It must be Esther. It can only be Esther that you can call to come forward. Oh, come on, Esther's arising here. Woo! 
I said, Esther's arising here. Yeah. They will say, normally we don't do this, but for your sake. Normally we don't do this, but for your sake. Normally we don't do this, but for your sake. Uh, if you know you are an Esther, yes, shout hallelujah. I feel excited in my spirit. I don't even feel like I, I, I finished the message. I feel ex- I sense an anointing of God here. I feel like pro- making pronouncement. I have so much to say, but I feel like making pronouncement. I feel like making pronouncement. Oh, the time is over. I feel like making pronouncement. I want you to listen carefully, church. The days of being behind is over. I'm hearing the forsaken will lead the chosen. Anyone that was rejected, all of a sudden you'll be the chief cornerstone. It's your time to rise up and take what the Lord has prepared for you. Tell somebody, say, it belongs to me, shout it. Say it, it belongs to me. We're not struggling. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I want to tell you something. When you see the disabled begin to rescue the able, when you see the forsaken leading the chosen, when you see darkness being led by light, you know that it's time to arise and shine for the glory of the Lord has come upon us. I'm making a pronouncement to everybody here. Your dance this Thanksgiving is a dance of glory. Listen, what glory does is that it leaks up shame. Everywhere that has shamed you, everywhere that has put shame around you, anything that has registered shame around you, by the glory of the Lord, I see the glory of the Lord rise upon you even tonight or this morning and I see that glory begin to lick up every shame. In the name of Jesus, I've seen the Lord deal with 12 years issue. I've seen him deal with 18 years issue. I've seen him deal with 13, 38 years issue. I've seen him deal with 90 years issue. How old is your issue? I said the glory of the Lord lick up shame tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there is no issue. Oh, I hear God. I said there is no issue. I see the glory of the Lord lick up shame this morning. In the name of Jesus. You shall ride upon your horses. You shall ride upon your horses. You shall ride upon your horses. He said, I see an abomination. I see kings walking on foot. And I see slaves riding upon their horses. From today, there's a divine rearrangement. I see the kings taking their rightful place. I see the king riding upon their horses. You will not walk on foot again. In the name of Jesus. It's an abomination. Oh, the preacher said, I see an abomination under the sun. I'm seeing kings walking on their foot and I see slaves riding upon their horses. Oh my God, I make a pronouncement to a lady here. There's about to be a divine rearrangement. Oh, shout hallelujah. There's about to be a divine rearrangement. You are not meant to beg. Because the psalmist said, I have been young and I have been old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. And I've never seen their children beg for bread. You are not a beggar. God said, ask and you shall receive. He said, seek and you shall find. He said, knock and it shall be open for he that asketh receive it. And he that seeketh find it. And he that knock it, this door will be open. I pray in the name of Jesus for some of you here. I said, your door shall be open. I say your door shall be open. Lift up your voice and say enough is enough. No, I can't hear your voice. Just say enough is enough. I come into my new place. I come into a great place. I come into a place that is large and heavy. I come into my place of favor. I come into the place of joy. I come into the place of secrecy. I come into the place of kingdom mysteries. Now I come into my joy. Now I come into my strength. I come into power. I come into prosperity. My day is the day, not tomorrow. My day is the day, and not tomorrow. I will not wait to tomorrow. I turn when the Lord turned the captivity of Israel around. We are like them that dream. These dreams have come to pass. These dreams have come to pass. As I these dreams have come to pass up. I said, These dreams have come to pass up. I said, These dreams have come to pass up. I don't know what your dream is, but it shall come to pass up. I don't know the dream, but it shall come to pass up. I said, These dreams have come to pass. Woo! 
Mas não, eu quero ir mais. Find a song coming to your spirit while I'm preaching this. Find a song coming to your spirit while I'm preaching this. But I sense in my spirit that you'll hear the word of the Lord. The dream shall come to pass. It was a dream. They thought it was a dream. But reality is about to birth. The dream shall come to pass. All of a sudden, they will call you forward. All of a sudden, they will say, let her come forward. They will say, but she doesn't deserve it. No, she's not coming by deserving it. She comes by grace. I said, she comes by grace. I said, she comes by grace. In the name of Jesus. Oh, shut up. say, my dream shall come to pass. The dream will not be paid by money. Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Shut up. Shut up. Baba said they shut him up. But they cry yet more. Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Oh, the blind Bartimaeus connected to the covenant. Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Then all of a sudden, the one, the holy one, the king of kings and the lord of lords, the creator of the earth, the one that sits on the circle of the earth, the one that sent forth his word and does not return to him void. Why they were saying, Jesus, son of David, oh, have mercy, Jesus stood still. Jesus stood still. And everything stopped. Listen, church. Listen, church. I hope you know. Fix this, fix this. I hope you know that when Blanc Batamios was shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Jesus was on a journey. Jesus' PA had his itinerary. Jesus was on a journey, Tola. Jesus was supposed to go to a certain place. But somebody broke protocol. Somebody was forced into the agenda. Church, let me tell you what happened. When he was saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Jesus stood still. As far as heaven was concerned, nothing was working. Until blind Bartimaeus came. Even if you have prayed to Jesus that day, Jesus will say, hold on. There's a gentleman, poor, dejected, disgusted, rejected, that has to come forward. There's a gentleman beaten, pressed, that is coming forward. Hold on. Hold on. Let him come. Then he that was dead came back to life. Lazarus. Please, may you catch the spirit. There's something going on here. Lazarus come forth. And the Bible says he that was dead came back to life. There were many Lazaruses, but there's a Lazarus. I call it Lazarus here tonight. I don't know what I'm calling tonight. I call it Lazarus this morning. There's a Lazarus here. I call you. Anything that was dead that was not supposed to be dead. Life. Everybody say shout life. Oh shout life, shout life, shout life, shout life, shout life, shout life, shout life. The devil has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come. For my girl. Oh, 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 has turned things around. Oh, 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 has turned things around. For my girl. Oh!
fire can never burst us in. There's an overflow. Abundance of favor. And it's a new level. <laughs> it's a new level. There's an overflow. Abundance of blessing. I'm taking over. <laughs> an overflow. Abundance of faith. Hey, it's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. There's an overflow. There's an overflow. Oh. Abundance of faith. And here's my favorite part. Cause I'm working in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Can you hear that? Favor. <laughs> Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Working in abundance. Can you demonstrate a bit? Baptism coming up now. There's a baptism coming up now. Lift up.
up your hand and I receive it. Lift up and say, I receive it. I sense a baptism coming up. Everybody lift up your hand. Oh Lord, let the baptism, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The Bible said that they were filled. Let there be a feeling, a feeling right now. And an unusual. Oh, go, go. I feel it right now. I feel Hallelujah. it. I feel it now. To the left. There's a feeling. 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 I said that's a feeling. That's a feeling. That's a feeling. That's a feeling. Oh, go, go.
Listen, church. I know this is not your regular Thanksgiving. Sometimes you don't need to do the regular stuff. You don't need to have to dance out, drop your offering, follow that religion. Today, we're just pouring our heart to him. I said today, we're just pouring our heart to him. We just say, Lord, we love you. We just tell him, Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. In the midst of all this trouble, we love you. In the midst of all this trouble, we love you. Are you ready? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving. All right. So we're not dancing out and all those. No, no, no. Not today. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's learn. Let's learn spiritual navigations. When the door is open, you don't keep shouting door open let's, let's learn because you see my problem with people is the door is open you enter stop knocking an open door you walk in today the door just got opened Pastor, what do you mean? Okay, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. So how do you enter? That thing you were afraid of, that you were worried about to do, go and submit. Apply. Pastor, I've not put the money together. Don't worry, sir. The door has opened. Yes, sir. Tell Pastor what he say. Enter. Enter. Can you stay by a door open and you are still saying, Lord, open the door? <laughs> the angel is saying, Bros, door is open. No, 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 no. Your problem is not open door, it's open eyes. It has happened. It 
has happened. You know, I told you, for those that came on Friday, I told you something broke. And you see, we're all just drinking from the system because something broke on Friday. It broke on Friday. And oil started flowing. Effortless, Richard. Effortless. Effortless ministry. Everything I'm doing here, to be seen, everything I'm doing here, so easy, no struggle. I'm not struggling. Just easy. God just downloading things into my spirit. Easy. <sighs> Father, we thank you. Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. Oh, Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. That we honor you and we bless you. Because thou art the creator. Jesus, hey. the mighty clay set my feet on the rock to stay you're my defender you're my promoter you are the living God hey yes no one can love me like you do <laughs> no one can help me like you do God you are the living God, oh, I say, no one when you are easy to the mercy I can You are the living God, oh, I say. Generations after generation keep praise, but no one stops you. But when I
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thanksgiving. Thank you for receiving our offering even today. Lord, we bless you. We say thank you. We honor you. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching the Potter's House of Lagos Global Broadcast. For more information, please visit www.thepottershouseoflagos.org. You can also follow us on all our social media platforms to stay up to date with everything we're doing here in this ministry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.